Hi, it's Devin here, and I hope you all had a good Christmas. Um, mine wasn't too bad. The only little damper on the experience was before Christmas. I was at my brother's place on the trampoline with my daughter, and she broke a leg. She um, got a compression fracture um, in her leg, and she's in a cast. Uh, we are at the specialist yesterday, and she's going to be in a cast for another four weeks. So it's not a lot of fun in summer being a three-year-old who likes swimming and running around but she's all right and you know she's doing well um i suppose the funny side of it is of course santa brought them a trampoline so uh at least my son's been enjoying it uh, my daughter's you know she's been asking me to carry her out there and at least sit on the trampoline anyway so we're getting used out of it and a few more weeks we'll be back to normal um so I haven't really done a lot of hobby stuff in the last week or so, um, but I I did finish my um, uh, what are they? My foot sergeants. So I need to uh, take some photos of them and put up a you know a final final vid on them. Um, other than that, I've been working on. This guy, who's a El Dorado uh, miniature, um, doing him up as a hospitaller. Um, not bad. I really, I really like the sculpt. He's quite easy to paint. I have been struggling with the weather here. It's been quite hot, um, and like the paint is just drying out so fast. Um, I think you can see on his sword it's a bit blotchy in a couple of bits. That's because um, the metallic paints were drying on my brush before I could apply them. So I have small windows of opportunity where I can paint at the moment. Um, yeah. The other guy I've been working on is this guy. He's been, I started him a long time ago and I'm just putting finishing touches on him. I don't know why I never finished him earlier. Um, but he's basically done. Not particularly happy with his abs, but they'll do. I might have another go just to try and thin those lines down a little. Um, I've also started on the SAS Crewman for my uh, SAS uh, Jeep. Um, I'm just going to do these guys first. Um, just get back into the swing of things before I kick on into my British Airborne and um, and my SS. So hopefully these guys won't take long to do, and they'll just sort of remind me the painting. Yeah, you know, sort of get back into practice doing the painting scheme. Um, other than that, I've got some black boxes here that obviously come from Perry. Um, and this is my Christmas loot. Um, these are all really to expand my Crusader army. Um, first ones here, they're the same, so I'll just show you one. Um, these are Armenian archers, so local allies, and they're just great. I really like these guys. They look, they look good. The sculpts are really nice, um, and I think they'll give me something a bit different to paint and a nice little challenge. Um, yeah, they're very nice. Uh, so I've got two boxes of them, so there's 12 of them. Um, these are Turkopol, I think I've said that right, uh, mounted archers, so horse archers. Um, again, these are very nice. Um, centering this set here, um, they're sort of split in the torso. Um, I'll show you in the next box in a second. 
they're done slightly differently. There's one or two of these horses that I think look a little thin, but I don't know. Maybe it's just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just used to thicker horses that probably aren't realistic. Um, so this this box here is uh, again the Turkopole horse archers, but this is sort of the command group. Yeah, actually these are the ones. The horses seem a little thin, but I think maybe once I get a rider on there, um, it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, you can see these ones, the horses come separately, and then the riders are yeah, separate as well. So it's interesting. Um, so yeah, I've got one guy with a sword, two guys with bows, and they come with shields as well. So I think they're great. Um, this guy is very nice. So I think they'll look good on the battlefield as well. Now the next, so I'll just drop the camera, and we'll just keep going, hang. <laughs> ah, alrighty. Um, okay, so the next guys are, again, these are for my Crusaders, but they're not the right era, I suppose, but I'm not too concerned about that. They're about 300 years later. Um, these are English longbowmen from um, is it Ancook? I think that's the battle. Sort of later on in the Hundred Years War. And uh, these guys are just I don't know. I really like them. So I had to get them. Well, you know, put in the request. Uh, just nice. I saw. I don't know. For some reason, I like archers who, uh, you know, have a bit of armor on them. Something about them. Um, and this other box here is basically archers setting up. So these guys are preparing to get, I don't know, is that going to focus for you? These guys are preparing to get the stakes into the ground. Um, this guy is laying out some bundles of arrows. Um, ah, these two are, no not these two, these two are working together. So we've got one holding the stake into the ground. The other one hammering it in. Um, we got this guy here sharpening one of the stakes. And a bundle of equipment. It's all, yeah, they're very nice miniatures. Really like them. Um, I think I do have a question actually for people out there just on metal figures it's on I think it's in here on one of the guys in here I noticed um, basically he's got a bit of a a wobble more than a bend so yeah there's a couple of them this is the only thing that I have problems with the metals I don't know if you can see there on the arrow that he's got it has a, a wobble in it I don't know if anyone has any suggestions in how to straighten that out what I find is if you've got a bend I can work with it but as soon as you get a wobble I find it very difficult to get rid of that so if anyone's got any tips about how to straighten out um, metal miniatures let me know and I'll give it a go um, so that's my Christmas loot um, I'm going to try and push on do a bit more painting over the next few days um, definitely get the photos up of my uh, foot sergeants who are done um, and I really want to push on into my uh, British Airborne 
um, as well. So I hope everyone has a happy new year and um, keep hobbying and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.